Hello friends. Uh, today we will see an automation uh, weather report by using the RPA tool. See there is a Excel in left hand side. There is a web in right hand side. So in the Excel we have a city column. It has uh, all the cities, major cities in the India. So what the tool do? It will pick the one and I mean one by one city from the Excel and it will open the browser google chrome browser and uh, go to the google type weather in that city name and it will click enter hit enter so now we will get the weather i mean what is the temperature in that city it will take that number and update into the weather column corresponded to that city We'll see, yeah, it's typing weather in Mumbai. Uh, it's a 27, it will take the 27 into that uh, C3 cell and it will close the browser also. See, it's updated. Again, what it will do? It will pick the next uh, city from the Excel. Next city is the Kolkata. So it will open the new browser and go to the google.com. It will type weather in Kolkata and hit enter it will take the 26 that uh, part that controller and uh, re I mean update into the excel like that it will do it will do continuously so this uh, task i can uh, i think you can un you can understood right you understood that uh, actually the overall flow so, so now we'll see how it do okay by using the rpa ui path let me stop the execution See nothing. Uh, I can explain this uh, flow actually. It is a sequence controller uh, container has a there is a Excel application scope. Here you can mention, you can browse which Excel you want to that mean load. So by using the browse button. So I just uh, that mean loaded the my uh, path.ct.xlsx my desktop. So within that uh, do has a which row which column you have to read there is a read column so here you can type uh, just uh, uh, a excel excel means it will come all the excel activities see this is the excel application scope and uh, this is a read column so you just drag and drop that's it so once you drag and drop you have to mention which sheet you you have to read and which column so i'm reading the all the b b2 onwards so there is a city co city columns are there that's why i am i am reading the b2 okay you can go to this uh, excel panel excel application again and see after that there is a for each loop once i got the all the city names so if you see read column read column is a that mean container it has a properties within that properties the output result is stored in the city names object so what is that city names just check in the variable panel variable panel there is a city names is the i enumerable object the list of objects okay so those objects I'm repeating one by one by using the for each loop within the body of the for each loop what I am doing 
see what we are doing there is a open browser here you can type uh, browser browser means see here there is a open browser so drag that open browser to this uh, location and type within the double quotes you have to mention the which url it has to go and also in the properties of that bro open browser you can mention which browser type also see here it has a ie mozilla firefox chrome edge okay it just and also there is a hidden button if you don't want to that means show that uh, while running you, do, you don't want to show that web then you can click on the hidden and uh, within the do button after opening that uh, browser i mentioned the delay delay you have to mention like uh, this format hhmm seconds hours minutes seconds i just uh, two seconds i i uh, put a delay and there is a set text set text means uh, see set text i think set space text so you just drag the set text and uh, place the in the, in this place so what it will do if you go to the google <clears throat> once google is open what you have to do so you have to that mean uh, type the text within that text box actually so that controller text box is the one control control so you have to go to this where you have to type you have to type in this text box okay so for that what you have to do once you drag once you drag that uh, set text uh, set text uh, control to this this floor and uh, you just click on that uh, take informa informative screenshot and uh, it will mention like this you just drag like this okay it will pick that snapshot and what you have to type whether in that is a hard coded whether in plus item dot to string what is item item is a for each loop we have a variable local variable this is the item what is the type of uh, this item this item is a inside the variable okay that is a local variable here you can see the type of the variable of, of the for each type of the argument is object because uh, city names has a list of objects so that's why within that list of objects if you want to repeat the uh, entire uh, that list you have to mention the local variable uh, the mean type of argument is a object then come to this point so this is a set text you are mentioning that this is like a c shop or a, this plus is a concatenation operator so it will concatenate the value within that item item and uh, concatenate to uh, weather in so see uh, so first it will go to the city names first it will pick the new delhi and the item has a new delhi so weather in new delhi then it will pick the mumbai uh, in the next uh, repetition and it will say weather in mumbai like that it will repeat so after typing the i mean weather in uh, something like mumbai or delhi so we have to click enter actually so we taken the same uh, snapshot and uh, where the there is a send hot keys so we are we, if you want to send any keys control uh, that mean alt f alt s alt control shift uh, window d like that you can mention like this okay. so the same concept you can take the snapshot uh, how we saw in the set text uh, toolbar the same thing uh, once we get uh, that mean weather in something like a whether in kolkata or something what you have to read you have to read this control there is a, this 26 that label you have to read okay for that there is a get text in the activities get text is there so you just drag the get text there and uh, the same thing same thing like uh, how we did for the set text take a information snapshot click on that and uh, drag like this so it will take that 
that means snapshot and to store that uh, the means selected uh, value here in the right hand side there is a properties so where you have to store there is a temp temp is a variable i declared this is a temp is a variable in the variable panel you can see temp is a string variable so once we got the value value you have to store into that uh, one variable so that is a temp once i stored the value into the temp variable so now we have a weather for that city in particular variable temp variable then close the tab close the tab in the sense close the browser and write a cells if you go to the activities there is a excel in excel activities there is a get cell read cell write cell like that so where is that write write cell write cell see right cell just drag and drop here what you have to mention so which sheet you want to write and which is the what is the cell mm, that mean number so cell number is a c and i i declared i initiate i initiated equal to by default i initiated a 2 i so it will go to the c2 i dot 2 string this is i dot 2 string uh, so it will go to concatenate and it will mention the uh, cell number okay this is a I, uh, c2 uh, currently i by default i declared a 2 okay so what you have to write so there is a three sessions which sheet you have to write in which cell you that in that sheet which sheet you which cell you have to write and what you have to write so temp is a variable where we stored the value of the temperature from that city so this temp variable we have to write the value within the temp variable we have to write after that just i am assigning the value that i am incrementing the i value it will go to the next uh, cell so there is a if you go to the top there is a assignment operator just drag and drop i equal to i plus one so that's it it's a very simple it takes very little time if you run this one it will store it will see it will store like this this is, here is a run button if you run it will close it will open a new uh, that mean web actually
concept in any languages but it takes time to development development takes time <laughs> I use the UiPath community version that is a free for learning so you can install you can download to the UiPath uh, site so go to the UiPath so there is a UiPath.com so this is a one type of that mean uh, RPA tool there is a multiple RPA tools let me stop uh, actually this flow otherwise it will continuously open the browsers and do the stuff This UI path is developed in the .NET, so it's a very easy. And uh, if you you can run PowerShells also, so you can run PowerShell, invoke the PowerShell scripts. This so many things are there. So this is a UI path site. You can go to the UI path site uh, here. You can. In the site then in the in this portal itself uh, you have a uh, all the videos how to develop uh, small small things how to interact with the SAP tools and uh, see there is a UI path enterprise RPA platform so UI path community edition so you go to the community edition see you can observe the this description fully fu fully featured this is a free to use in Academy yeah that non-profits and small business within an annual turnover of less than 1 million the small business uh, units also they can use as a free with uh, the turnover is uh, should be less than 1 million okay they get uh, click on the get uh, community edition so you can get you can install easily okay that is a easy just next 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 steps so that is the guys uh, so we'll go we'll meet in the next uh, i mean next program i will talk in the next video thank you thank you for watching please subscribe